right, welcome <laughs> back to Good Morning Wilmington. First up on the plaza this morning is Jasmine Hamlin. Jasmine is the CEO and founder of Skate Vibes, a local skating organization here in Wilmington. Good morning, Jasmine. Good morning. Good morning. Of course, we're excited to have you here mm -hmm. on the show as our first girl boss of the hour. Mm -hmm. um, tell me, what is Skate Vibes? All right, so Skate Vibes, it's a roller skating company. Okay. So we specialize in our roller skate academy as well, as well as retail. So we sell skates and we give skate lessons and it's a whole umbrella of things that we do with surrounding roller skating. Wow, when mm -hmm. did you first start your company? Um, I started the company officially last year, okay. but I got the grounds and the um, wheels moving in 2019. Yeah. Okay. But you've mm -hmm. been skating your whole life. Literally my whole okay. entire life. I always love telling this short story. My mom, when she was skating with my dad, because my dad is a roller skater. Okay. Right? Okay. So my mom would skate with my dad and she fell. She wasn't like the best skater, but mm. she fell, but then she was hurting and, w and was in pain. Mm. She later found out that she was pregnant with me. Oh. <laughs> and then I've been skating since I was two years old. Okay. Yeah, so I always tell that story because I think it's so funny. Yes, it is. No, no, and it's yeah. it's just a part of your whole family yes. and your upbringing, yep. and now you want to provide this service and opportunity to others, exactly. which I think is beautiful. But before we dive in more about yes. Skate Vibes, tell us a little bit more about your background and yeah. who is Jasmine yeah. Hamlin. So, um, pertain to skating or just in general? In general, okay. yeah, yeah. Let's, let's well, let everybody I'm know. I'm an artist. You know, I okay. paint, I draw, um, I take pictures, photography, all those things. Okay. Um, little, another quick story. I actually used to work here at DBT, DETV when he first started. Okay. Um, we was over on Lancaster Avenue. Yes. So this is kind of like nostalgic for me, but just in another realm, I'm sitting here as a guest. So that's something yeah, about me beautiful. as well. Um, but I love people. I love everything creative. And that's just who I am as a whole. You know, I did modeling, anything you can think of in an artistic world, that's me. Um, but when it comes to the roller skating, um, mm -hmm. I started skating, like I said, when I was two years old. In the past, we had Ellesmere Skating Rink. Right. Uh, are you guys familiar with Ellesmere? Yeah, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, but they've been closed, I want to say since 2010, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. Long time ago. Yeah, yeah. a long time ago. So, um, you know, we continue to skate in Jersey, um, two different skating rinks in Jersey, but a lot of Delaware skaters still skate. Um, so, so what made you want to teach weekend. others? What kind of made you want to get into teaching everyone else how to skate? Well, because I've been skating all my life, um, when I lost my brother, my brother actually was um, killed here in Wilmington, unfortunately. Oh, wow. sorry. And thank you. Mm -hmm. And that was a journey for me, but I always mm -hmm. had roller skating. When I needed that, that mental clarity, I would mm -hmm. just drift off and go skating. I didn't need anyone to come with me. I would go on my own and just vibe to the music. And then when I left, I felt better. Um, and then that's when I realized that roller skating actually produces natural serotonins mm -hmm. and dopamines and it just made me feel good. So I'm like, okay, I come from the city. I know what our kids go through. This is something I want to pass along so that they can adopt and maybe it will help them along their way and their journey. Not necessarily because of, you know, death or anything like that, mm -hmm. but, you know, we go through a lot here in the inner city. So I just wanted to give them a new outlet because we love right, music, right. you know, we love dance and we can just kind of put it all together. Right. So. And, and thank you for being so transparent about Absolutely. that story and telling us thank your you. why. Yeah. And, why. and that, and some Sometimes, you know, we have to share with others about our why, yeah. right? Can right. we talk about that yes. all the time? Yes. That we have to share with others about our why and why are we doing and that he is mm -hmm. always with you. Yes. Right? Always. And uh, and uh, thank you for being so open about that mm -hmm. and, and sharing with our viewers. Um, but with that said, talking about your family, obviously, the, you know, skating is a big part of your family. Mm -hmm. yes. um, I'm sure this is what you do majority of the, the year time, yep. all together. And it brings, I want you, I, I would think, it brings everyone together and it yeah. unites. So it's not only fun, but it also it's an activity that everyone could do at all ages. At all so ages. let's talk about that mm -hmm. some more because I know that, you know, maybe people are thinking, well, I don't know how to skate. I'm in my 40s, 50s. Can I learn? Is there still hope for me? So is it for all ages? Yes, there's still hope. Okay, okay there hope. you go, there's still hope. <laughs> Currently, right now, at one of our favorite skating rinks, there's a 60 plus year old man who still skates. <laughs> okay. That's not, you know, that's not old. My parents are in their 60s right. and I see them get around mm -hmm. all the time. So I know that's not old, but for a younger person and or an older person mm -hmm. to put it in perspective, to understand that you can skate from the age of two and beyond, you right. know? 
So at the academy, we do roller skate lessons. Okay. okay. All ages. You can do. You can book us privately, and we'll do a private lesson with you, mm -hmm. or you can sign up for our academy. Right now, we're doing academy for teenagers. Okay. Um, it's going to be. It's surrounded around um, dance disciplines and choreography, so we can oh, perform. Wow. Yep. And I'm sorry. No, go ahead. No, keep going. Yeah, keep we're going. excited. I'm yeah. Excited. No, it's okay. <laughs> so. Um, and then, you know, like I said, you can book privately, so it doesn't matter the age. If okay. you are, you know, mm -hmm. 40 plus, 50 plus, 60 plus and beyond, and you want to learn how to skate, we have a curriculum for you. Oh, that's, see, really? that's so good to know. Okay. And I'm sure there's so many people are like, well, I really want to skate. It seems like it's a fun activity. I haven't skated I, but I, I don't know. 12 because I fell and I got scared and, you were done. and I was done. <laughs> yeah. I was done. But to hear this, first of all, you said choreography mm -hmm. and dance. So that's giving me roll bounce vibes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking of like Bow Wow and the yes. whole I'm glad you brought that up and you know we're mentioning that because the whole point of the academy for the teens and the choreography is because if you pay attention, roller skating is making, you know, it's new Mm -hmm. like way around I've these days. I've been seeing it on social it. media But it's TikTok too. It's literally Absolutely. everywhere. It started with COVID, but be before COVID, mm -hmm. skaters always skated. You know? right. So now it's becoming like a trend or, well, mm -hmm. I, want, I don't ever want to call it a fad because it's not going anywhere. That's but right. it's definitely trending right now. But if you pay attention to artists like Usher, you guys familiar with Usher? Yeah. Girl, he recently, who's not familiar? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. He recently just had a residency in Vegas, and he hired roller skaters. They had a whole segment of roller skaters. About it looked like about twenty to thirty of them. That's awesome. And they were on tour, on tour with Usher. What does that mean? That means they're getting paid, you know? Right. So I know the talent that we have here in Wilmington, and I want to cultivate that. Um, I have connections with different. Some of the skaters that were skating with Usher, I know some of them. I don't awesome. know them personally, but we became. Instagram friends way back when. It's a whole community. Right, so mm -hmm. everyone's doing their thing, and whenever it's time for me to, you know, hit up Danielle or Ash, well, I don't know Ashley too well. I'm just giving them a little quick little shout out. Right. But <laughs> if I have to hit up Danielle and just like, hey, I have these kids, do you have a gig in Cali? Is it possible? You know, once we get our funding up, we are going to travel. You know, we're going to travel and perform and hopefully get booked for different gigs. Right. So that's the goal with our kids here in Wilmington to create a platform for them to, you know, actually get paid for their talent. So, right, right. Yeah. When I was in middle school and high school, I remember that we used to have, I guess you would say, events at mm -hmm. the skating rink, at Ellesmere Skating Rink, Christiana Skating mm -hmm. Rink. Is Christiana Skating Rink still yeah. open? Yeah, okay, it's good. Still yeah, open. Absolutely. It's, it's never good when a, you know, these establishments shut down. It's mm -hmm. never good. So we want them open and, yep. and operating. Yes. I remember we would have events, dances, yeah. and it was so much fun. So much fun. And everybody would come together, even if you didn't skate well, yeah. but you still, we all came together and yeah. it was just so much fun. And I think it's, it's something that you don't have to be so perfect at doing, right. but it's fun when you come together just to be able to do a, a little bit, to have the, I guess you would say basic skills. Yep, basic right? skills. So talking about the basic skills of what you offer at uh, Skate Vibes, talk about the different, um, the, I guess you would say more so the, um, the levels. So you mm -hmm. said you talked about you're doing a teen curriculum. Mm -hmm. So what other services other than just the, the, the ages that you would offer? You said you offer about choreography mm -hmm. and whatnot, but what other things do you offer? Yeah, so I'll tell you about our program. So yes, please have, do. Um, we have the Skate Academy. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, the Skate Academy is surrounded around choreography mm -hmm. and uh, stage performances. I love then we do Roller Skate Anatomy. Roller Skate Anatomy is for that that uh, skater who, you know, maybe they enjoy skating for fun, mm -hmm. but it's something about their mind that they want to learn more about the skate itself. Mm -hmm. So we dissect the skate, mm -hmm. like the whole makeup of the boot, how it became what it is, and then we get into a realm where we take it apart. You know, and okay. then hopefully you never know, a new design may manifest. But the goal is for kids to use their engineering skills surrounding roller skating and then it can, you know, go on beyond. But if roller skating is their first interest, and then right. they can go from there. Right. Um, I'm sorry. No, no, I was, mm -hmm. I'm intrigued because you keep bringing up like dance and performance mm -hmm. and I'm a performer, as Vincenza knows myself, mm -hmm. a, a dancer. And I heard that you guys were recently in a parade, I yes. think. Yes. Yes. Which parade yes. was this? It was the Philadelphia Thanksgiving Parade. Ah, uh, 60 oh, yep. That's yes. a big parade. Um, yeah, it was pretty huge. Huge deal. It was pretty huge, and it made me so excited because, like I spoke of, getting the skaters opportunities where they can just go out and explore yes. and perform, you know? Yes. And getting that opportunity, it just made it feel so good because I'm like, this is what we're doing it for. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is fun, but there are people who maybe don't even know what they want to do with themselves right. in the future. As a teen, you know, you can have fun, but you can do big things at the same time while you try to figure that out. 
So mm -hmm. um, they called me, which I was like, how did you, you know, how did you, you find me? <laughs> and I had to find out, I'm like, how did you find me? He was like, well, we Googled you. And I'm like, thank you, God, for internet presence, you know? Right. So they uh, contacted me and asked for some roller skaters, and I found some roller skaters between here in Wilmington and also in Philadelphia. Okay. Originally, it was a little more that were going to perform with us, but Thanksgiving and, you know, right. we already have plans and things like that. So um, it was about five of us. And we practiced for four days at like seven o'clock at night, so it was so cold. Four days? Yeah, four days of rehearsals mm -hmm. because it was so many dance teams. Yes. Mm -hmm. So many dance teams, so we had to know how to move around them and what was expected of us and where our spots were for the camera. Right. And it was just such a great experience. Like, I, I, I skated as well that day. And I was I'm just going like, to ask, yeah, did you perform yeah, as I, well? Yep, I performed too. And it was just like, okay, I'm just filling in for other skaters. I'm trying to do this for other skaters. Okay. I don't have to be there. Um, but because so many people were falling off, I'm like, okay, Jazz, you have to show up. Yes. So I went and it was just, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, this is, I felt like a kid all over right. again. It was so fun. And I'm just like, next year, I'm going to have kids a part of this. Ready to go. I, yeah. Now that you've made that connection. Yes, exactly. Maintain that, nurture that relationship because that's such yep. great exposure. I already asked us that. See, that's so, perfect. See, that's such a good no, sign. And it's, <laughs> I, I was, I've been a part of the 6ABC parade myself. Mm -hmm. So I know what it's mm -hmm. like performing, yes. being out there with all, cause there's like a boatload of different yes. groups, organizations, performers, mm -hmm. dancers, singers, yes. floats, so Mickey, I don't know, everything, mm -hmm. everything's out there. But yes. I, that's a huge opportunity. Thank now, you. where can people find you? Uh, okay, so the easiest way to find us is skatevibes.com. That's okay. with a Z and with the number eight. So S K eight, eight, the number eight, vibes with a Z dot com. Okay, yeah. excellent, excellent. I actually, now that I'm thinking about this and we're talking about the Philadelphia Thanksgiving Day Parade, yeah. I believe I even participated in the parade twice, no, Once three times. This was a long, no. no. So back in high school, I was in the AI DuPont marching band and they're always invited to participate, not just in that parade, but multiple parades around the world. And being a part of the band, it was truly exciting to have that experience being, you know, yes. in the Philadelphia Thanksgiving Day Parade awesome. and everything that it entails. People, wow. you know, people think, oh, you just show up and you, you know, you, you parade. No, no there's it's, so much that goes into it, it yes. right? The nights, you like you said, there's nights building up to it. There's practices, yes. rehearsals late at night yes. in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. right on the grounds. Mm -hmm. And then for all those hours of practicing, waiting in the cold for what, 30 seconds? Yes, yes exactly. 30 seconds. Right? And, so, and the call time is early. Super early. early. I think like 3 a.m. <laughs> yes. or something, like, right? A lot of people are out there around like, like the performers like like five six mm -hmm. but they don't go on to like 10 11 yes. like right. you're yeah. out there all but day all through day. all of that it's so worth it isn't it so worth it right is it wasn't it right we look back at that and we're able to say wow that was worth everything it the was. cold the the waking up at you know in the middle of the night yes. no, no sleep <laughs> it was worth the excitement yes. it was. and it the really was. and the opportunity for you and all of your you know and I guess you would say members of Skate mm -hmm. Vibes yep. were able to showcase their skills, their talent on television. Yeah. That's huge. So it was really huge. Are you, do huge. you guys have like any way, like, mm -hmm. are you raising money for your organization yeah. or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Tell me I'm about so it. I'm so glad you asked. Okay. So right now, um, the goal is to open a studio. Oh, okay. We have partnered with a nonprofit, One Village Alliance, who was allowing us to use their space for mm -hmm. our academy. Um, but the goal is to have a space that we can do, run our own programs. Um, so right now we're participating in Giving Tuesday, which is November 29th. And we're simply trying to raise $5,000. If we get more, that'd be great. If we get under 5,000, that'd still be great. Um, the funds will go towards equipment like roller skates, safety gear, right. uh, transportation, <clears throat> um, and then uniforms, anything that's needed for our performances, and then as well a savings for our actual studio. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out Please. to yes. our sponsors who are um, you know, supporting us right now. We have One Village Alliance, we have Ascending Queens, uh, we have a green, a green Box Crew, it's a clothing line, and as well as Divine Visions and uh, Jones 
company, Jones Property Company. Okay. Those are our sponsors right now. Always have to thank our sponsors, yes. right? So we thank them very, all the time. Very, very Without important. them, we, it's always help, you know, we always say it's important to help the community because then they'll help you in return. So it's always important to make mention and give yes. credit where it's due, yes, right? Always. So and last yes, time, one more time, mm -hmm. just give tell mm -hmm. us where can we find you, where yep. can we donate, yes. any information that our viewers need to know about Stay Connected. Vibes. Yeah, so to to stay mm -hmm. connected, you can subscribe to our website, skatevibes.com. Again, S K H V I B E Z. Mm -hmm. um, Instagram, we're on Instagram. You type in Skate Vibes, we'll pop up. Skate Vibes Skate Party. Uh, Facebook, Skate Vibes. Um, but the best way to stay in contact will be Skate Vibes. That's where you can become a sponsor as well as donate. There you go. Yeah. And sign up for any of our programs. Yes. Yep. Yes. yes. Well, Jasmine, thank you so thank much. You. I'm excited about your organization you. and how it's continuing to thrive. Mm -hmm. And good luck next year at thank the you. parade. Mm -hmm. And I know you're going to have a thank lot you. more, you know, bookings and other places to perform and have um, your company and your members be out there, mm -hmm. you know, skating around and doing what they do best. Yes. So thank you. Thank you guys for having yes, me. Thank so you so much. Of course. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's your main man, Big Ob, the talk of the town, Mr. DETVCH.com, and I'm here with my wonderful and amazing co-host, Vincenza. We just stopped by to tell you to be sure, if you want any information on what's going on in Wilmington and to meet some dynamic people doing some amazing and great things, be sure to watch us live on Good Morning Wilmington on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Oh, Ivan, 10 a.m. Which she said, 10 a.m. Listen to me. That's why he has me here. But yes, <laughs> tune in live 10 a.m. Monday and Wednesday on Good Morning Wilmington. DETVCH.com.